I, I guess you'd call it a hiatus. I was just going through a lot of crap in my life, um, but now I'm back. I'm back, and I'm ready to uh, to do this up. Let's just, I'm being paranoid. I'm going to check my microphone, make sure it's not muted, because then you guys wouldn't be able to hear me, and it's totally, like, not even muted, so it's not even, shouldn't even be a concern. Um, <clears throat> just one moment. And we're going to get started here. Bug Hunter specific services us a lot. Oh, that's an update about a bug. This game still has bugs? That's weird. Um, anyway. All this stuff. I've been rather engrossed with a game called Elite Dangerous lately. It's super good. Um, definitely worth a shot if you haven't played it. Um, been engrossed with that. I also just got Deus Ex Human Revolution the other day. I know I'm going to be doing this and Resident Evil the remake. Remake. <laughs> Pun. Um, and then I think tonight will be a good night to start both of those. Like this. Like really get into this for a little while and then switch over to that at some point. And then um I could, like, it's really tempting. It's really goddamn tempting to, uh, to play <laughs> Human Revolution right now. Overall completion, 1%. That's beautiful. I mean, at least it doesn't say zero. Like, I didn't even get anywhere. At least it gives you, like, a little bit of hope. It gives you that little 1%, like, booster there. It's like, 1%. You got 1% done, so you're, you're okay. It's Tipsy Tuesday, by the way, to those of you participating in Tipsy Tuesday. And for those of you um, who will just be joining us tonight, I will probably say this a couple other times. Intel gathering. Alright, um, but for those of you who are new to my channel, I do upload my episodes to YouTube. It's under the same name. It's at, it's just Staniopolis. I have a Twitter under at Dannyopolis. Um, it is it is my personal Twitter as well, so you can expect more or less. Oh hey, I've got. I think this is like the same. Are these just? Is this a monocular or is it just the binoculars? Let's be all over village. Okay, replace the marker. Oh, why, why, is, why is it Beano? What the heck? Alright, I gotta remember, like, how to play this. How do you... Okay. That's right. That's what I want. I'm literally trying to remember how you fucking run in this game. I don't need a hint about the tranquilizer effect of this, god damn it. Good god. I'm like, how? How do you fucking sprint? I'm an idiot right now. Oh, how do you sprint? Wow, this is taking forever to load. Oh yeah, we got all our, all our nice little cassette tapes that take like. Oh yeah, it's got all the all the like info. I could go through all these for exposition. Um, I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave that up to you, the viewers. I suppose if uh, if you guys say yeah, let's go through them, I will sit and listen to them with you. Like I am down, but like I love exposition stuff, but. I know that kind of fucks up the pacing on this. How do you even like get off your horse? I'm being an idiot right now. I've played so many other games that like fucking this shit right now. 
There we go. Control settings. Is it like a controller layout or no? Oh, I gotta follow her on Twitter. Hello, follow her on Twitter. I want the, the little speaker on there. On that's cool. Uh, whatever. I wonder what that does. I wonder what the little uh, controller speaker does even. Um, how do you fucking get off of this? This horse. Okay. That's right. Poland, there's a Soviet guard post. They're bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. Oh yeah, you've got Ocelot telling you about that shit. That's marking. Focus on a thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. Security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. Okay. So triangle triangle is kind of your action button button. Alright, that's right. Alright. My horse controls are a little messed up. <clears throat> but otherwise I'm fine. I'm fine, oh my god. Where the hell? All right. Let's see what's in this. Can I get in here? I can't. I can get into that one. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's find out what's in this little this little place. Ha ha ha! Ooh. That's money. Money! Good find. It'll fetch a high price. Good fan, it'll fit your hair press. Oh, that's the thing. Those materials are already processed. They should come in handy sooner or later. Why not start gathering them? Hunting and gathering, hunting and gathering, hunting and gathering. All right. Is that really? No, I know there's like, there's gotta be more guards. There's just one fucking guy hanging out around here. There's more than that. Don't fucking. Why I look like an idiot, baby? <laughs> There's another one. Sight, sound. Keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. Down. Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. Move this. Move him. Do I have Fulton extraction yet? No, I don't. <clears throat> I'm like, all right. Time to kidnap fucking Russian soldiers. he passes out. Should I just like cap him right now? Binge! Have a tranquilizer. Hello, Almond. It is good to see you. Fucking picking up guys. Gonna move him out of the way. Cause like, I don't think there's any patrols that comes through here. It took me like it, come, it took me a couple seconds for one of the controls. Uh, actually, no. I, I well, I have, I have the collection on 360, and I just need to play through. I need to play through uh, Peace Walker, but it was it was weird because it was like a PSP game ported to 360, 
and the controls were a little wonky to me just because of the way they were ported. I got all that shit. Suppressor's good to have. Um, we're gonna go over this wall. I think there's like shit in here you can pick up. I don't need that. Yeah, yeah, that was the biggest problem I had was a lot of movement. Oh, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. I really wanted to play Metal Gear Acid too, which was like the uh, like tactical card game. Planning to walk the whole wilderness on foot? Use your horse. Wait, how do you? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I need to get back into the get my head back in this game because it's it's been a while. Uh, I haven't heard of Babel Tower. I've been playing a lot of, um, Elite Dangerous, and, um... What else? It's been a lot of Elite Dangerous, and, like... Which, Elite Dangerous is hella engrossing, actually. Surprisingly so. It's not super player-friendly, but once you get it down, it's, it's pretty dope. Um, I'm all about that space exploration. And finding shit out. Um... Gonna go to my next object. Oh yeah, that's right. We're going into the. Really. Extraction arrived. At Hello, Monday. You're almost at the enemy outpost, Via Low Village. Oh, okay. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Oh, fucking! Oh my God, this is this part's easy as heck. Hi, hello, Monday. I remember this. Oh, fuck. Fucking goddamn. Gotta remember. <coughs> to hit that triangle button when you hit those little edges, you gotta crawl over them. What a Game Boy part of MGS1 sounds really interesting. Fuck that, man. I, I, I went, I, like, the, when I played this game before, um, I went on top of, like, a building and just shot them with rocket launchers because it could, they couldn't get to me. They literally couldn't get to me when I went up. I, I just went up there and I was like, all right. And I saw something. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money I just found right there for no reason. <laughs> I know, I don't need... There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with the only thing... Security? One of the other things that really gets kind of irritating is, like, the inflatable-ass, like, fake enemies that, like, get highlighted as, like, uh... Get highlighted as actual enemies and they're actually not. Sun's down already. It goes without saying that darkness is good for infiltration. But your vision will be affected just the same. see anything else. Oh, so that's what the speaker does. All my all my little droid, all my little iDroid shit comes through my my controller instead of actually coming through. All right, I'm gonna change that really quick. How do I how do I get the fucking uh where's it at? Okay, I can't remember how to change the settings. I can't remember how to get to it right now. I'll get to it later. Oh, really? That's really cool. That headshot was 
<laughs> I felt pretty good about that one. <laughs> All right. Let's check you. Put you somewhere out of the way, because I need to... Oh, man. I want to replay 4 really bad right now. I've been wanting to redo. No Fulton? Are, are you talking about just, like, all kills? Because I usually just do, uh, I always do, um, I usually run non-lethal my first play. Just because it is a little bit more of a challenge. And then I do, um, well, like, the only, the only people I, the only boss to date I haven't used non-lethal on is the, uh, well, two, actually. Uh, the tank guy in, I have the Twin Snakes version of MGS1. But um, Vulcan Raven, that's who. First battle. And then I have, and then the other one is like the skulls. Just because at the airport, because that shit is obnoxiously like stupid. Can you mark him, please? Wow. I hate that shit. When like coding in a game treats like a fence as like a, a wall when it's blatantly very much not a wall. Got him. I know I definitely got him in the head right there. There we go. Got him. I post. I captured the outpost. Okay. Cool. Really, like, I, I think so, too. You might need a better monocular. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Oh, yeah, I remember what I'm doing now for my actual objective. Here we go. Is there anything in here? I don't think there is. I know, like, there's stuff up in there. Picking that up. Hell yeah. I hope that doesn't... I hope my TV wasn't picking... Like, my microphone and my... My headset. My little headset wasn't picking up my... Uh, I wonder if I can, can I request resupply yet, or no? Because they definitely need a resupply. <clears throat> yeah, it just had to happen. It just had to happen at that point. That is, I believe that's my new objective. Can I, there we go. I can't request a fucking supply drop. God damn it. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be interesting. Unless, like, there's a spot I can get secondary ammo really easily. I don't know, though. That's the thing. I 
feel like in that area I was just in, in where I just got the intel, I think that was like the best spot to get it. Fuck, like I feel like I got it before. Oh yeah, where, where Miller is? Yeah, that's true. Kazahira. Also, I'm pretty dang tipsy. Um, it's Tipsy Tuesday. So, um, for Almond and Monday, and hello third viewer, um, I'm gonna be also doing Resident Evil the remake, and like I really want to play. Um, I just got. I also just got. Oh, it's really good. I had it on GameCube. I have it on GameCube. Or no, I had it. Cause I got rid of it. I've got another suppressor. That can be a good enough distraction for them. It's really good. Um, if you have a GameCube and you find a copy of it, I recommend picking it up. It's also... If you have a PS4, it's definitely, it's on the, uh, it's on the, the PSN, like, the digital market for, like, 20 bucks. It's really not bad. And then I'm also going to be starting Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I said that earlier, um, but I'm, like... <laughs> I just got it the other day. I'm like, I'm so excited to play it. Um, Cause that's gotta be a genuine like first experience. Like I played, I played through this, I played through RE, RE the remake. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited to play through like Deus Ex. Like I've, I haven't like, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. The remake, haha, <laughs> because I'm funny. It's an enemy guard post. Watch yourself. I can understand that. I'm a little anxious about that too, because I'm like, I'm gonna get stuck and not know where I'm going and make myself look like an idiot. <laughs> but these are the risks. I think. The I think there's ammo I can get there. But I'm like, do I want to risk it? Uh, heck it, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like move around that and not deal with that for now. Uh, I'm so mad, <laughs> I used up a lot of my ammo. More ammo than I should have. I mean, I could always get spotted, but I'd also like to not. And I think, I think that's one of my biggest problems with this game, like my only problems with this game, is that sometimes it's like, I clearly headshotted that guy, and it's like, no, you didn't. Like, the game's just like, fuck you. <laughs> Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Yeah, what, fucking... Yeah, it's really, it's really weird sometimes. Yeah, like, there are a lot of previous M MGS games, like, I feel like, okay, my shots are landing where I'm placing them, and then this one sometimes, it's like, I definitely was, my crosshairs were on that dude's head. I don't know why that didn't connect, like...
Yeah, totes. But I mean, I'm using a single fire tranquilizer pistol, so. Semi auto, I should say. Okay, my best way in is like over there. As long as I don't get spotted down here, I'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. I think bullet drop is a little more in this game, too. Oh, really? I got spotted, but wasn't as bad as I thought. Hello, Flaffly. That's the building, boss. That's where they're holding Miller. Russians in the 80s, yeah, for right now, in Afghanistan. Hello. Fucking good. Oh yeah, that's it. That was a bad move. He did. <laughs> how did he? How did that guy like not see me? And where the fuck? Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I think that's because of the way this game plays. <clears throat> Guys, it's me. I'm here to get you out. Snake. They do something to your eyes. No, it's it's just bright as all. Well. Just bright as all. Well. <laughs> It's not even daytime outside. It's nighttime right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I feel like I feel like if the stealth were less forgiving, just because of the way this game plays, you, it's it would be a total like fucking. It'd be dumb. It'd be so <laughs> shitty. Took you so long. We'll talk about that here.
Yeah, pretty much. I just started the game. <clears throat> right. So we're out. Magic words, boss. I've been waiting nine years to hear him. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> I love that nod, by the way. That's such a good nod. Oh shit. So that way. In the opposite way. Oh, that's right. They're fucking dicks about it. They make you like go through the entire place. <sighs> Fuck. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Who the fuck saw me? Where the fuck? <laughs> avoided conflict. I just avoid them. I'm like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> oh, hey. That's what I like. Oh, yeah. When I get this, when I can get a silenced Trank Sniper, I'm fucking down. I'm down. I'm down as fuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just I like I wait for it until I can get like the uh it's them. <laughs> the skulls are the fucking worst, man. Watch out. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. How the fuck do you sprint on the horse? Thank you. There's literally no way around them, so I don't care. so stressful right now. Bear in mind, your weapon will be loud for 
Okay. <laughs> they came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. I'm bad. Survivors from nine years ago were wiped out in minutes. I don't know what they want, but it's them. No mistake. All right. Put Miller in. Time to get off of the fucking horse. Can I... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's really good. It's a really good game, Georgia. Man. He gets Fulton extracted. <laughs> I couldn't, like, get it on camera, but he gets Fulton extracted. D-Horse. <laughs> on the helicopter, I don't think you can do that. I got a B. That, yeah, okay. Afghanistan briefings. Time for cutscenes. For the Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Zooming on his face. <laughs> Oh, I can. It's like the only... Okay, that's about as far as I can look. I'm gonna rebuild it. Make a new place. Together. That we can call home. <sighs> yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. <laughs> you name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Ah, uh, the phantom pain. Death. <laughs> oh my god, Monday. Holy shit. Are we gonna have flashbacks? I forgot the cutscenes already, but. Yeah, I didn't really get to experience him in Peace Walker. I experienced him. As, uh, uh, in MGS1. I thought, I've always thought of Snake as just like this, he's kind of like Geralt in that he's like a low-key sweetie, but he's, he's very much just this like, so he's, he's always scowling. <clears throat> True. Comrades, 
things I've lost. Won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations. Even the US. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. Yeah. <laughs> In Afghanistan. Cypher just keeps growing. Swallowing everything in its path. Getting bigger and bigger. Who knows how big now? Boss. I'm gonna make him give back our past. Take back everything that we've lost. And now kiss. I play MGS4. Like, I don't know. MGS4's cutscenes are really good, though. Our new mother base. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll make it bigger, better than before. God, what should I do? Tell me like you used to. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of big exposition. Like I like I like that they break it up with the cassette tapes though. I like that you have the cassette tapes to kind of go through like the lore as like they treated it a little more like the Mass Effect 1 codex. Which the Mass Effect 1 codex was really dope because it read all the main entries to you. Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. Oh, okay. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. I like Ocelot's role in this a lot, actually. I like his character development. That ends today. Now you're not sleeping, and we're not junkyard hounds. We're diamond dogs. Let them talk. Oh yeah. Well, he's originally Adam from uh, three. He was Adam in three. We're fighting for the future. Run. Boss, there's something I want to talk about. It concerns the running of Mother Base. Come meet with me. You came. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves. Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. Oh. Start bringing people in. 
I wouldn't be surprised. It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquil... I, I saw, like, you. I saw Big Boss. Don't pull any punches. Um, I'd say either or. Ghost Recon Wildlands is actually a really fun game. Uh, but it's more... I think Ghost Recon Wildlands is, um... <laughs> the boss's dream is to beat up his soldiers on Mother Base. <laughs> Extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. Almond, how is uh select staff management from the mother base mission? So that staff member was placed on the RD team. The RD team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. How is, um, the R &D team's what's it like playing as the other CD characters that aren't Snake? Boss, like, if you're playing as, like, me, some rando Joe fucking beat-up guy. Infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. Boss, put the iDroid away for a moment. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC? I'm ready, boss. Show them how it's done, boss. Try throwing. <laughs> best way to knock. Extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. God damn it. Okay. I figured it was like, there's gotta be some negative. Oh, so you could get them to the same level as like, the boss, or big boss essentially. Select weapons items under the development heading. Now select cardboard box and start developing. Just be aware that development development is finished. You can have the support unit supply you with weapons and items you develop. Think of it as your own personal delivery service. <laughs> the R&B team, they're just making sick songs. Sick beats. Check out the sick beat we made. I also, honestly, I love that. The, the fucking, that you can just like, oh, time to fucking, time to hide. <laughs> and there it is. 
Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or fighter recruits hanging out here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select the landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Uh, can I... I can't request... Hello. This is Tweety Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Oh, okay. This is Tweety Quad. On station at LZ. See, I just do. I do like the. There's like an auto assign that I use, and it it just auto assigns them to where it, to where they're best suited, and that's usually what I just use. Oh crap! Uh, let's get out of here. We're gonna leave. Ah. Yeah, I think it's just a, it's just a button press in this. You just you tap a button and it does it. It does its thing. I think that shortens it. Shortens the time you you spend just fucking moving people around because that's like the most. I think that's the most, like, tedious thing. Yeah. That's just, that's just optimization, and that's just optimization, so. Yeah, I I can understand that. More ocelots briefings, which I won't necessarily put people through that because it's like five minutes or whatever. I was at one of the last missions when I started streaming, and I just restarted the game for the sake of the stream. Oh yeah, that's right. It just it shows like they've had different te they've had different teams on every mission, just kind of design how they kind of play out, which is really cool actually. Like the missions are supposed to be kind of episodic, and that's an interesting way to do it. I guess we'll just do. Farming villages in southern Bahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. Oh, really? The target this time is the commander of the Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Smasi Laman, the meat fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. 
I hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. That'll be the easiest. That'll be the easiest way to get in. Um, can I? Oh no, I can't really. Alright. Uh, uh, let's do ASAP. <clears throat> I didn't know you could play the hel the cassette tapes through the uh, helicopter speakers. That's pretty dope, actually. So I think I'm going to do viewers. I want to run a little poll on the episode right now. Just type your responses. I'm thinking I'll do another mission or two of this, and then I'll switch over to Resident Evil. What do you guys think of that? Would you be done for that, or do you want to keep watching this? Just uh, type your answers in the chat, and then we'll find out your target is what you guys think. Oh, I'll eliminate him. That's true. That's true. MGS5 has a little bit more conversation. So it's mostly just weighing different options it seems like okay so he is in the village okay the only reason I'm not really taking the horse is because 400 meters is not that long of a of a move honestly I usually do most things on foot just because I'm like super paranoid of being seen unless like unless I'm like until I get can extract like a vehicle and can move, you know, that way. So it's a lot easier. Like they give you the vehicles, but they make you super conspicuous. That's like, <laughs> good job. Uh, that's my only problem with like the, the vehicles, is that like they make you like hella conspicuous. This is a pretty good vantage point though. Let's see into the village. Look at that tree in my way. Those are all three fucking radio officers, too. You've arrived at the objective. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Seven. I know there's probably more. Guaranteed there's more. Yep. Eight. Nine. 
nobody there. That's weird. Dun, 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 dun. Time to go down. Time to be. How do you roll? Oops. Whatever. Yeah. Fucking get in a spot where I can just pop you really quick. There we go. It's one down. I need him for staff anyway. Can I get him out here? Oh yeah, I can. Sweet. I need to find my target. So I'm gonna try and capture this out. I'm gonna try and do two things. I'm gonna capture this outpost. I'm gonna try and extract everybody here. Gotta build up your forces, man. That should be enough to knock him out rather quickly. And then I'm gonna take you out. He's down. Get him out of here. That guy's down. Oh, I fucked up. Got him. Roger that. Fucked up, but I got him. He is too close to extract. Like right here. I need to get some more stuff anyway, so I'm gonna request a supply drop. But I can extract him here, I'm probably fine. I'll take care of that. Remember the first time I did this mission, I like, fucked up hardcore. Okay. That's right, these guys are over here. My supply drop is down, so I'll go pick that up first.
I like how there's always like a little bit of surplus. You can just get that money back. Oh fuck. He is literally right there. Oh shit. Got him. Put him down here. I'm gonna extract this whole- I'm gonna try and extract this whole facility. And see if we can do it without getting spotted. Or like, without an alert phase. Is this my target though? Can I get like an ID on his face? Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. There, that's the target. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I just got the target. Gonna extract the fuck out of you. Because I know there are goodies up in that. Up in this little facility of yours. So. Target secured. I'll tell the client we sent the target to a place outside of heaven. Boss, your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. Were the kids in it? And that's super funny that there would be, you know, uh, Russians listening to "Were the kids in America." Uh, that just doesn't <laughs> that doesn't quite ring true to me. But hey, okay. So we're gonna check out this area because there's stuff in here too. Some common metal. I got personnel. Oh yeah, you were deployed. I totally forgot about that. No, I mean like in dealing with the Soviet soldiers, you'd think they wouldn't, you know, be exposed to American music. Relatively close. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't feel like... True. True, I didn't really think about that. They're not necessarily... They're not necessarily out of, uh... Interesting. That's actually really interesting. I wasn't necessarily trying to say anything about the Middle East, though. I was just talking about like the Soviets and their mentalities. Um. This of like. <sighs> don't conserve, dude. Don't fucking consume the capitalist pigs like media sort of thing. Just like. The Soviet dogs and the capitalist pig. Well, that mission was actually a resounding success. I was surprised. Let's see what kind of a rank I get, though. I don't think I'm gonna get a very good rank. But I know, like, a lot of it is just speed. Mission complete, boss. Let's see what I get. I got a B, but codename Chick still. No kill, no retries. 
Attack will take turns, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I, I've got a couple of S rank missions, though. I have. I got I got an S plus on one that I just I ran it really fast. It was just in and out basically. Okay, good. I can develop a little more, hopefully. Hello, viewer. By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, you turn the chopper into your own aerial command center, or ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can be where you get. Oh yeah, I've got there. rewards to cash in. And those give you like those weapons. give you equipment and weapons and stuff. Let's see, weapons items. We're gonna do some development. I will probably take some time to go through some old missions and try and get some better weapons when I'm not streaming. I want it. I need level seven. Yeah, that's, that's the one I had last time. What else can I develop, though? I need that. I'm equipping C4, definitely, because I'm going to need it. Uh, oh my god. I forget how, like, nuts the uh, weapons actually get. We can unlock them. That's what I want. Well, actually, no. There's like, there's like a. I forget which one it is. There's totally like a. Basically, I don't. I never. So, from what I understand, I've never really understood how C4 works. But what it seems like is it's reactive clay that you just put in the uh, the positive and negative diodes into basically to detonate it that's like my most basic understanding of like how CS C4 works yeah that's better that is a lot better I think there's like an armored one you can get that's like sneaking armor and it's... We're gonna do another mission. How you select your camo? Maybe tools. No. Secondary, primary. There we go. I thought I had. I thought I had battle. I thought I developed the battle dress. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. 
Don't do it. Brew, brew it. Two pounds of boom, bench. Resuming gate. C2W. Then sneak. You need to disable the Soviet's reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base to base comms network. Head for the eastern Shala Shasta. and destroy its comms equipment. First, use also, the Monday. to locate the communications. Because you've been playing, because you played some of Witcher 3. When you fight the Wild Hunt, doesn't it sound like sometimes, like, when, when you're in combat with them, it sounds like they're saying, Shala Shaska! Like, <laughs> it's super funny. It's me. He can unholster and reholster. Unholster and reholster his fucking pistol as fast as fuck. Be careful down there, boss. Be careful down there, boss. Where's the pupper? <laughs> that sucks, you can totally just leave him there. Roger that. We'll pick him up. The little pupper. He's so cute. I love D Dog. I love D-Dog, but I end up taking quiet more often than not. I didn't see that guy coming. I always feel like in this area, it's like, it's pretty much Iron Maiden's song, Run to the Hills. We found out there's an English-speaking soldier somewhere in the region. He's a language specialist. His role is to translate information related to the West into Russia. If we can get him to join us, we'll have the upper hand in information warfare. Find this language specialist and extract him. Okay. Where you gotta extract him. That's right. He's at the uh, communications post, I'm pretty sure. Or no wait, he might be he might be here even actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he Last That's the target. Last night with your Easy. <laughs> Basically. Well, like, according to Miller, soldiers are like, yeah, we'll fight for Big Boss. I saw a plant. Okay, I'll have to pick that up later. A Soviet soldier in the Green Beret is speaking English. Must be a language specialist. With him on our side, we'd be capable of Russian interpretation support. Try and extract him. God damn, it's so hard to see. I think in this one it's a little shorter. I'm sitting like this because I need to see. It's a little hard to see. It will not go the fuck down. There we go. It's hard to get like the exact. I'm also in a spot where I'm in the light, which is not good. 
because it makes everything else harder to see. Yeah, that's true. Stuff here at least. Does he have a decent ranking for anything? Oh, yeah, I don't have the analyzer yet. But for those of you watching, I am going to place Snake in a viable spot that is safe, like right here. While also questing a, a supply drop. I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Hello, Almond. I am back. Uh, hello, everybody else. Also, I know you were. Um, I knew you had more to say. A cutoff at A plus A plus plus start in the brig also is where it cut off. Um, I had to use the restroom really bad, and I had to uh, make another drink. So now that that's over, we're okay. I feel like that was a good spot to do that, though. Huh. I never really, I knew heroism had a factor in it, but I've never actually, when I played it last time, I didn't really pay attention to that too much. But I feel like um, playing through this again now, like playing through these missions for the first time, the second time, because I, had to, I restarted my playthrough for the stream, um, I feel like I'm doing a lot better in some aspects, except for the, not noticing the truck was definitely a fuck up on my part, and I'm taking full responsibility for that. But, um... Oh yeah, there was a plant back there I should have should have grabbed. Um, I feel like I'm doing a lot better in some aspects. I think I'm getting back into the MVS sort of mindset a lot easier, um, just because... The last time you guys gave, game I played before this one. I think it was four or three. I was playing through three again. We can use compounds from plants to make 
And this is also, this game is Metal Gear, but it's also a whole different animal and it's in and of itself. And it changes the gameplay dynamic in a lot of ways. Being forgiving of stealth is nice, but at the same time you still, like you, it, like it's nice that it forgives you, but at the same time it punishes you more if you get spotted. Is something I've definitely noticed. Yeah, knowing where your enemies are because you don't have the solid on radar, um, or even just the radar system in like in MGS One. Like you have to pay attention to your environment. You have to know what's coming. You have to keep your eyes open, and and you just need to, you need to. It, it, the game kind of teaches you in a way to be aware of your surroundings. Like this, like this shit. Nope, you're not gonna do it. Yeah, that's true. And I fucked that up royally, but I made up for it. That's right. To heal yourself, you just gotta basically lie down. And then this shit goes away. Yeah, this mission was a little wormwood, also known as absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. I always prefer doing this at night. God damn it. Well, that fucked me up. I should have like hidden over here to use it. So I'm trying to I'm trying to make it night time. This is the better way to go, that's right. Where'd the fucking dog come from? I'm just doing really bad right now. This is the this is the better way to go in. To this is right here. Cuz I remember last time when I did this mission that antenna is one of the targets. That's another one of the targets. Do you see any more? Yeah, that looks like the target. 
We know where all the antennas are now. Take out all three of them. How you do it is your call. Stop! Stop! Looks like the enemy's lost sight of you. They're gonna try to hunt you down. I got spotted, I fucked up. That's what up. <laughs> I'm waiting for this alert phase to pass so I can wait for it to be night. This is a better spot to hide. This is like a good vantage point. Yeah, I'm waiting for a, you can only, you can't use it when it's in alert status, though. Yeah, you have to wait. Now I can use it. Yep. Whoa! -ho! How the fuck are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Eat my entire fucking ass! Okay, you know what? Fuck this. Fucking Jesus Christ. Enter the Eastern Communications Post and destroy the target of Cool. These fuckers again. Redoing the fucking checkpoint again. Jesus Christ. I'm so bad right now. I'm a little Rusty Shackleford at this. Rusty Shackleford. That just drives me to want to get better, though. I know, that was such bullshit trying to get a headshot on that guy. First, use the, 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 the I already did that before. Okay, I like definitely spotted that guy earlier. Unless he's different, he might be different guard though. That's right, because there's two shifts. Alright. <clears throat> Salter. <laughs>
Diving into supply. <laughs> that worked. I'm really surprised that that worked. Holy shit. Okay, um, so I am gonna go the way I took before. Am I gonna have to fight another wolf though? I'd really rather not. I'd rather not have to fight another Monday. Hey boss, you see many animals in the field. Truth is, an environmental NGO has asked us to remove wild animals from combat zones. Cool. Can you extract some I love here? that I had no time to react to that. I get money for these, so. Extracting Mondays. Why you gotta be so mean, Monday? Why you gotta attack me? I didn't even do anything to you. Also known as absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. Golden Crescent. It's a type of medicinal plant. We can use that to make tranquilizer rounds more potent. That antenna is one of the targets. There should be more. Keep looking. That's another one of the targets. Do you see any more? It's right there. That looks like the target. We know where all the antennas are now. Take out all three of them. How you do it is your call. Explosives should take care of them well enough. How you do it is up to you. I should be well enough hidden. How the hell did he even see me? I am literally shielded by this building. It's my question. Okay, fucking headshot, please. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Thinking of using C4? It's an explosive. All right, now get to a safe distance before you set it off. To detonate it, hold the ready button and then press the action button. the easy ones. Yeah, that's like diamonds and shit. Those are raw diamonds. Collecting those assets will raise our GMP. <laughs> Explosives should take care of them well enough. How you do it is up to you. very least that will distract them so I can get up here. Because getting up here is going to be a little bit of a bitch. Alright, 
I'm getting out of here. Hello. Hello, Margul Salmon. Oh shit. Whatever. Oops. Should have died from that. I don't know why I didn't have my gun ready, but that's fine. I am relatively new to the streaming community, I would suppose. I've only streamed two games. We can't let them follow you. Like completed two games. So yes. I'm on my tail. Okay. <laughs> Did he wipe? <laughs> I thought he wiped his arm with his mechanic. He wiped his forehead with his mechanical arm. Uh, no, I'm not new to this game. Um, I'm a little rusty. I've played a lot of Metal Gear games, but I'm a little bit rusty just because it's been a while. It's been like, it's been a little while since I've played some Metal Gear. I'm also a little tipsy, because it's Tipsy Tuesday. Starring, blah, 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 blah. Alright. I would love to listen to these. Army is growing like crazy, thanks to you, boss. In fact, it's getting downright crowded around here. To bring a greater number of people on board, we'll need to expand our facilities. To that end, I've created a base development unit. It has two roles, material refinement and platform construction. I'll start with the material refinement part. Okay. The base development unit procures material resources on a regular basis according to... I'm just doing uh, Twitch. The materials are stored in I'm on a PS4 right now, actually. Hello. Once they're finished being processed, they can finally be put to use. By using these materials to build new platforms... We'll it's a pretty good, uh, it's pretty good, uh, MGS. Products. We don't need any specific instructions I would say the materials. your best experience with the first Metal Gear Solid game is going to be Twin Snakes. Once we have sufficient GMP and the required material resources, Just because the controls are a little more refined. From your okay. 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 Got all my guys. A long time in the field is bad for the body and mind. I think it's time you took a break. Do it for me. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Okay. No, I haven't. That was the third mission. Quiet's not for a while yet. Quiet pops up in Afghanistan, but she's like... She's not for another... There's like a few missions. Edie, come back. Yeah, she takes some time. It's she takes a few missions like after you get her. Bit of a troublemaker. Not sure about the breed though. They'll get bigger. Uh-huh. Like this. You know, I can look after him. He's still a pup, so he doesn't listen. I have a feeling someday he'll be useful. I suspect you've discovered a real diamond in the rough. The little polish. I say we got a true diamond dog. The puppy. <laughs> Oh, he's missing an eye, too. D-Dog grows up, and then you, uh, like, he just... It's like time. It's literally just time. D-Dog grows up, and then you can take him on missions. Come on, Didi. Yeah, Ocelot does. He does have a specific style to himself.
I don't know. I really don't know if you could just like go past him or not. Boss, we received a back channel request from Langley. Boss, we're to find a piece of new American military hardware that's gone missing in the mountains of Afghanistan. It's a difficult mission, but I'd say you're back in top form by now. Check your iDroid for the details. I will, but I'm also gonna do base development. Uh, R and D. What else can I do? I think a support platform is important. And there we go. Yeah. The theme of the cigar is pretty ridiculous, but it's great. Um, bam, bam, bam. Missions, helicopter, pickup. Roger. <laughs> I'm just gonna crawl to the helicopter. Oh. I'm glad she does that for somebody. <laughs> you make... Oh yeah, you can totally get like a phantom like like a phantom cigar that's just a vape or some shit. What if like girls that just like the girl the girl that just sang it just popped up every time? I'm good, I'd rather run missions. Keep the stream interesting. Interesting, because I'm a little tipsy. True. It's useful for when you're interrogating people. Is it funny? I don't think I've, I honestly don't think I've tried that yet. I was just like, you can interrogate them. What the fuck do they have to say? I'm your friend. <laughs> like, what? Challenge desk. Okay, that's what it wants me to look at. Okay, I've fucking. Did I get any good ones? I got some other ones too. Fire's weakness is obviously water. I don't need to be told that. Um, mission list. Extract the engineer, try to infect the Soviet base, and I'm in here doing. That's a. I think that was a tough one. Where do you be sleep? I need to complete more of the mission objectives. I need to go for a little bit more of a completionist run. Einhorn. I need to look I need to look at my development projects, that's right. Hell yeah. What else can I develop? Me. Hell yeah. What do 
I need my R and D. Okay, I need my support and R and D to go up one in order for me to get that, and then I need. Okay, I can totally do that. I can get these ready so I can extract other things. Okay. So we're gonna do. <laughs> I know, right? He's only using his little, like, up and down thing. Uh, we'll do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Deploying. I have my dope better um, thing, so that's gonna be dope. I have a better weapon now. I have a better fucking, what's it called? The, the better trank gun. Maybe the range will be a little better. Over the fence, over the, over the garden wall. <laughs> I mean, if it's opportunistic. The engineer is being held prisoner at the Watson barracks. You need to find him and get him out. He tried to I'll get him out. from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. Now they're holding him at Watson. He's offered his technical skills to us as long as we can guarantee his safety. You have to extract the target. If it's like opportunistic, or if like. Hello, viewers. Here we go. I'm like 200 meters away. I love you, D. Uh, D horse is great, but going in on foot is a lot less conspicuous. Unless I need to go all the way the fuck around, which probably I do. Also, there's plants here. There's always plants by your landing zones, by the way. That's something I've noticed. for the combat unit. Because quiet is her own thing, basically. Deep quiet. I found a lot of diamonds. That's the Waxin barracks. The target is somewhere inside that really? post. The Soviets consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. <laughs> Monday. Hehe, <laughs> I get it. Oh wait, this is like the shitty one, that's right. Ah, oh, fuck. This is the one that's like really fucking awful to get into. Ah, oh, balls. Wait, what kind of skills do you have? 
Nothing really of note. Okay. I wish, like, there was a way to get up that shelf and then just go in that way. But no. <clears throat> Who fucks on me? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was just about to do, Almond. I was literally just about to make my way around to the opposite side. And they're all distracted with seeing me over there, so that actually is a little bit more fortuitous than I had thought. But I still need to be careful. I wonder if I can do, like, the same thing. Hmm. Gotta play this smart. It's fortuitous that they're looking over there, though. Half of stealth is also distraction. Or just not being seen. Boss, leave the intel files till later. The enemy's on combat alert. I thought those lights were a truck and I almost... I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so for those of you that are new and watching, um, I, do I do upload all my episodes to YouTube. Um, and that is under Dannyopolis. It's the same name as what's in the URL bar. It should be D-A-N-N-Y-O-P-O-L-O-U-S. If you want to check those out. Because I streamed uh, Wolfenstein and The Witcher 3. It's Dannyopolis, D-A-N-N-Y-O-P-O-L-O-U-S. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see if I can... Hell yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Give me that intel. Give me that sweet, sweet intel on this Tipsy Tuesday. can move in. There's usually a guy by the shipping containers. I see other times I've been here, but they're kind of distracted. If I can keep them distracted out there, which might be what I need to do. Come on, why can't I climb up? Thank you. They're coming this way, shit. That'll, that'll draw their attention. That'll draw their attention so I can sneak into the base. Because I 
don't know where the other communications things are. Okay. He's over there. That's right! I remember this now. Thank you. Hello, viewers. Um, for those of you just joining me, I, I was spotted, and now I'm trying to be Tacticals McGee right now. This is going to be a little bit tricky. This is going to be a little bit trickier than I had anticipated. Maybe. I need staff right now, so... There we go. Take him out. There we go. Thank you. How did that not hit him? That was in his face. That was also similarly in his face. Get them all out. <laughs> I extracted your combat team, bitch. <laughs> Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. God damn. Oh, that's right, that's this. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm doing no kill, man. Right, there's like shit in here. So last time I did this, like totally snuck in and did this, but I fucked up. So I'm gonna do this uh, off the cuff a little bit. No, you just wait until he's like ready to kick the other enemy awake and then you knock him out. Way to get him out. Just put him here, and then just get him out like that. Target extraction confirmed. Your objectives complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Uh, 
And now we get out, which is actually easier than it seems. Because I totally bungled that. <laughs> Oops. Eep. Oh, wait. What was that? I don't even need to. Well, actually, maybe I do. I gotta see where I can request my pickup at. Oh, it's close enough. It's not a huge deal. It's close enough. I don't. I'm not too worried right now. I can just, <laughs> I can sprint my way to that. That's not even too bad. And the horse always auto extracts. I didn't even see my other objectives. Like I wish, I wish like they they tell you you've got like all this fucking they tell you you've got you got all these fucking like extra objectives and they don't even fucking display them until you're like at them or like, you've done them and it's like okay thanks man. Like, I know it encourages explorations, but give me a goal. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. This is Pequot. On station at LZ. <laughs> and we're up. Hell yeah, we got out. The base. All right, mission complete, boss. And it's so bad. It's fine. I got a rank A, and I did terribly, honestly. <laughs> I think that affects your overall score, though, if you ask for air support. The engineer we rescued has been extremely cooperative. The guys on the R&D team are glad to have him aboard. Thing is, his specialty is in mechanics, but something called bionics, engineering based on biology. He's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic arm. If you're interested, go ahead and give the development order. Yeah, basically. Troublemaker, unsanitary. Wonder what that does. So we're gonna head back to uh, Mother Base here. I'm gonna set up some development projects. Maybe do another mission. I'm from Illinois. In the United States. How about you? Okay, cool. That's a thing I want. Oh, that's cool. That's really dope, actually. Fire grenade. I got that. I need... Okay. I can do cargo. I got my intelligence scope. In scope. No, I never have. 
Unfortunately, I haven't been outside of the U.S. much. I would like to, but it's really hard. It's super expensive to travel in the U.S. I completed a couple of challenge tasks. Which one did I finish? Mission, side ops. What other missions do I have? Hmm. That's another story mission. Yeah, I, I flew in within the US. I usually just, I flew once and it was economy. Do another mission. I'm getting hot in my hoodie. Is it like cool off outside? So Almond, what are you up to on this fine night aside from taking the time to watch me, which I greatly appreciate. <laughs> I just hope I'm interesting to watch. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, he's all bloody from his last mission. Uh, 10 p.m. 10.30 p.m. What about with you? Damn, you're up late. Or early, I should say. So I wonder what kind of breakfast you eat in Amsterdam. That's not eggs and toast. So Monday, uh, how different, how, how much better is D horse with his little, with his or her, her little hooves? Do they get stuck on everything? Like roaches? <laughs> Roach's little hooves. Bagels and beans. I never actually had uh, just savory beans. Like the beans you're talking about are usually put in like a maple sauce with fucking bacon here. Because we're Americans and we're fucking... All about that sweet shit. Alright. I'm not gonna use that fucking spotlight. Did I just capture the out uh, the outpost? I think I can actually extract weapon emplacements. Hell yeah. I mean. I mean. I love bacon though. Bacon is dope. It's great. I mostly just make eggs and toast for my breakfasts. Hell yeah. Give me tart actually, Monday. Give me tart things. If you're gonna hide inside, watch the enemy doesn't decide to use it. Same goes for hiding down enemies in it. 
Hell yeah, eggs with buttered toast, man. Sunny up. You just mop the yolk up with your buttered toast and it is like the most hella breakfast. How do I call the horse again? Uh, I'm an idiot. How do I call the horse? That's right. Where are we at? Come on. Oh, good. You just show up like Roach, though. That's awesome. Gun emplacement. A couple of motors. Hell yeah. I mean, you whistle like in. So does uh, so does Roach though. You whistle in uh, in Witcher Three, and then and then Roach just kind of teleports to you. Okay. Keeping an eye out on the road. There tends to be Soviet patrols just hanging out, fucking around. I have a feeling I'm going to run into an installation very soon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're just fucking around. <laughs> Trying to find you, and I'm not about it. Oh, I didn't realize the horse had decided to take a little jump there. Is that prisoner the Hamid survivor? If he is, he has to know something about the honeybee. Damn, that is. A pretty heavy fucking concentration of Soviet frickin' soldiers. I don't know why I said frickin'. Yeah, it, it, it's a little tedious, but at the same time, it's better than just like. It's so you. It kind of makes sense, so you're not just making broad sweeps of areas and then like finding all the enemies instantaneously. Monday, were you like, no mercy, kill them all? <laughs> the world is a fuck. A hundred million dead cops. <laughs> well, aren't you like, a professional in the big fat meanie business? So hard to pull off sometimes. <laughs> the salt is real. <laughs> He's coming too. Roger that. I'm not crying. <laughs> There's just something in my eyes. Oh, shit balls! I forgot about that guy. I'm an idiot, baby. I'm a little idiot fucker, baby. Alright. Sweep your fucking spotlight into another spot so you don't fucking see me, you stupid little bitch. I'll just do that. That works too. To get past the spotlight guy, really? I don't know that would work. I just like, fuck that. I will just do that. Wah. So we're gonna go up through here. It's 
sneaky beaky. Now it's time to be really sneaky beaky. Ha ha! No! You're not gonna get out of here alive. How? How did they not fucking knock him the fuck out? Fucking <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> I felt so good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Christ! <laughs> hell yeah, I'm extracting him. What the fuck did it look like? You had to extract him in a smoke bomb and uh, a smoke grenade. I think that's the first I've ever gotten him. It's on your eye droid. Head on over there and retrieve it. Okay, I need a I need a supply drop though. I still, I'm really proud of how that went down though. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So another thing you can do, obviously, is go right up to their, their radio equipment and just kinda put that shit down there. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> or no, like, if you sit, like, if you, like, just sit where the supplies are gonna fall, like, Snake gets, like, knocked on his back. It's like, ah, <laughs> Like, it's super funny. Subject on board. Leave the rest to I can't extract any Jeeps yet. I need a better extra, a Fulton extractor. Unfortunately. You gotta extract him. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, there's totally I know there's like a couple of guys over here. I don't think he has any skills that I really need other than the fact that he's like a person. But hey, he's down. So I can move around here. Da 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 Just moving around, don't mind me. I think... Like, I remember in one of these places... Oh, hey. All these fucking supplies and shit. Fucking Leave! Leave! In the most literal sense. When you extract fucking enemies out of your uh, out of the mission, you're just like telling the leave. Where's he at? Who's this guy? So I can beat him up. I don't see him though. Dang it! Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello, friend.
Yeah, the auto assignment makes it a lot easier to kind of like prioritize staff in this. The auto assignment definitely helps, especially with figuring out like your planning of mother base and all that fun jazz. But we're gonna keep moving. Where's the horse at? Alright, sweet. The horse is teleported. Alright. Knocked out their external communications. Oh hell yeah, I can develop better Fulton device now. A better one anyway. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, I want to avoid that, so let's see if I can get him. Can you jump all over that? No. I can go through this though. Oh. Kind of take a shortcut right to it. Kind of avoid all this shit over here. I'm just trying to avoid all these enemies. Because avoidance is also really key to stealth. Just stay away from them. Keep away from me. I mean, she, I think she was kind of designed to be that way. Oh, my friend's now online. I thought that was somebody shooting at me for a second. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Man, how are they gonna... So they're gonna render in a boner for Snake, like, when he sees Quiet? I wonder if I could do this off horseback. Damn. I hit him. I hit him, but it didn't take him out. Fuck. That's an enemy gunship. A single burst from his machine gun can cut a man in half. Tread carefully, boss. Hell yeah. Got him! Alright, who is... Give me one moment, guys. And I'm back. <clears throat> Let's extract them. Extract the fuck of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to deal with this bullshit. Boss, get down. That's an enemy gunship. Stay low and crawl along the ground. That should enable you to sneak past enemies. Okay, I'm in the brush. I'm in the bushes now. You can't see me. Hey, fucker. Damn ass. Damn ass chopper. Oh, I remember this part. There's some enemies here. I think, I think I'm just gonna try and like sneak past this outpost. I don't wanna spend too long here. Chopper is like all up in my business. Or is that just a sandstorm? Well, that's advantageous, but I don't think it's kicked up by the chopper actually. Regardless, it's advantageous. Now I can move through the area undetected and not have to worry about enemies. Oh, 
come on. I'm so close to it. No, but I am keeping it on the edge, and that's better. There are, like, there's a good and a bad to sneaking through a sandstorm. <laughs> they can't see you, but you can't see them either. And it is the worst. Fucking most anxiety inducing feeling. Give me my supplies. Give me my supplies. Give me my supplies right fucking now. Hell yeah. I'm glad they didn't fall into the fire pit and burn away. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep moving. I wanna get I wanna get this mission over with. I'm gonna say I can I connected my app. Yeah, it's gonna say that. It's gonna lie. Can the JRPG Tokusins learn of the rings? Alright, let's go. Fucking. Oh, that's right. This part is a bitch. This part is a total goddamn bitch of a part to get through. Okay, I got a checkpoint. Oh, I hate. Yup, yeah, this is the part I was thinking of. I literally hate this part. <laughs> I hate it. It's the worst. It is the fucking worst. Can I... I just want to see if I can get my... Better like cargo on my Fulton or more Fulton or whatever. Damn. I'll do it later. I don't need it right now because it's not the better cargo one, which is the one I really need to get rid of their fucking anti-air.
Hell. 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 Okay. Ugh, I hate this part. So let's go ahead and just, uh... We'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just give it a little shot, give it a little shot to get through. Just gonna fucking crawl on the ground. And I hope I don't get spotted. <laughs> That's about the best I can do right now. I'm sorry, goodbye. Good talk. Give me my diamonds. Like, right there. Are you kidding me? Thank you. I can't hear the radio, but it might be the, uh, it might just be like a, a place, one of the, uh, the PT broadcast, which I thought was really cool. That was a really cool Easter egg that they put in this. So I managed to sneak past all of them. Just completely avoided that clusterfuck. <clears throat> now I gotta deal with the ones that are in here. I don't like how exposed I am in here. I really don't. got more friends deeper in here. Uh... Whispers on what? It was me, Monday. It was all me. I promise. It was just all me. <laughs> I just, I had to take time out of my day to fucking whisper you on Twitch. Hi and you. In separate messages, completely unrelated to one another. <laughs> I'm a fink now. I have angered the Monday. He's gonna bully me. <laughs> oh man. Did you just turn into a white girl a little bit? Is that what happened? Uh, I don't like it. I don't... I don't like it. I really... I don't... Uh, go ahead, Monday. Bully me all you want. I am literally, literally. <laughs> nice. Oh, somebody discovered my friend who I knocked out. 
That is like the only thing about no kill playthroughs is like it doesn't permanently resolve your problem. Like in any sense. And it's just like, uh, I want to just murder all of you, but I also don't want a big ass piece of shrapnel sticking out of Snake's head. True, true. Diamonds. Man, I've got a, I found like, for some reason, just the way I'm doing this right now, I'm finding all of the diamonds. I'm not complaining, I'm just like, whoa, I'm finding, <laughs> finding the diamonds this time. Shine bright like a diamond. I don't think there's anything to pick up in here. No, this is one of the, the dude's rooms. A little radio. Can't pick up the beer and take a sip, damn. Like I can do with my drink. I think there are dudes. I think there are dudes who happen in here. Then I've been pretty much undetected, so this might go a little different. I might just be able to find it and leave. I hope. Anyway. My eyes peeled. I don't see anything. How do we get back in there? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. <clears throat> Now I got a billion fucking enemies that are gonna come after me and fucking. Ugh. I'm gonna have to fucking kill them all. 1998. 100 million dead cops. Is there like an alternate route out of here that's not as shitty? I'm wondering. Maybe there is. Maybe I can just sneak in and sneak out. This is like the mist that's got, uh, that the skulls are in, so. I'm pretty sure. Basically. The skulls are the fucking worst, man. Bunch of fucking cocks. That's all they are. Oh, yep, there's the mist. A little bit of mist. That's all. Oh, now he's got his assault rifle out without the fucking suppressor on. I haven't used it at all. It's Psycho Mantis. No, run away. Oh, and I can't. That's right. How 
did that thing even pick him up? You look well rested, big boss. My, my, how you've changed. You became a demon for such little weapons as that. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll see the bigger picture eventually. Who the fuck is this guy even? Who is Skullface? I still haven't figured that out. If you get out of here alive. Rest in peace this time. I'll see you in hell. Boss. Idiots, I hate them. Time to run away. It's the mist unit. The skulls. What's he doing to that soldier? Oh, that's right. I actually did this last time with, without actually using it. I just ran. Boss, that's a serious injury. Boss, what happened? We're gonna we're gonna do some checkpoint because that's bullshit. Thank you. 
I actually got through that without using the honeybee, holy shit. Yeah, gotta heal up really quick. So now I get the bonus, I think. I think. I'm not sure. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. I think once we get back to Mother Base, see what kind of rewards we're gonna get. I think that'll be a good point to end for tonight, or at least for this game. I this might do LZ. some uh, Resident Stand Evil. By. What do you think, viewers? Do you think we should do some Resident Evil? Or should we, uh... You want to see me play Resident Evil Monday? Mon Daddy? Mon Daddy! Octopus. I got the bonus. I think I did, actually. I'm not sure. So this unit in the mist, their speed, the way they jump, it's not human. And those deformities. They attacked the Soviets, too. And that Grim Reaper look-alike in charge of them. That giant thing that carried him off. What the hell are they? Cypher. Well, what do they want? What's their objective? Why Afghanistan? Cutscene's over. Wrecked. Destroyed. Boss, I'm creating a new intel team to support you in our I can't operation. skip, like, I know about the intel team, like, I know about it and shit, like, I can't skip his little dialogue about it. Every time I see Rick and Erect, I think of um, Rick and Morty and the burp. Right. <laughs> Basically. Ocelot, you're great, but shh. Okay, I got some development soldiers and shit. I got some soldiers. Got some shit. I'm going back there anyway. Christ. Oh yeah, it's gonna force me into a cutscene. It's like, you're going back to Mother Base whether you like it or not. Mother Base is literally your mother and tells you to come home whether you like it or not. It's like, hey, go fuck yourself, come home. Resume a game. The dog is gonna come up and be your friend. He's your friend, look at him. He's ready for you. He's ready to see oh. you. 
Look at this big pause. That? That's discipline. Following orders like a real diamond. Sue, uh, no, stay, stay. <laughs> Aw, he's trying. Big boss needs a shower after his fucking mission. He's a smelly boy. No, he's not. He had a shower. He had a shower. All right. <laughs> Stinky. <fu> <laughs> okay. Um. So I'm going to be right back for a couple minutes, viewers. Um, that's going to be the end of Metal Gear for the day. We're going to start Resident Evil here in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm just going to take a couple minutes to make a drink, go to the bathroom, get myself resituated, and then we'll start. Uh, we'll start Resident Evil. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out my YouTube channel. It's got all my episodes on it, and that's the same as my Twitch channel. It's Danyopolis, and that's D-A-N-N-Y O-P-O-L-O-U-S. Thank you, and I'll be back shortly. So let's go into here, and we're going to do a little bit of this, and I'll be back very shortly.